Hello and welcome back to the second part of our Dimension Door tutorial. In our last tutorial we learned about the basic commands of Dimension Door. In this tutorial we're going to learn about uh, creating uh, worlds with different game modes, difficulties and settings and also have a look at some of the additional features such as creative world protection and access control for worlds. So I'm just going to log in to our uh, development server and we can get started. So to start off with, uh, what we're going to do um, is we're going to create a new creative world. So I do this the normal way. I'm going to go DD create and I'm going to call it uh, fantastic. It's going to be a normal world, normal random. You'll remember all this from the last video. Uh, none. And then uh, the plugin's going to go away and build me my world. And now I can teleport to it. And here's my new world. Now this is all well and good, but I'm not actually in creative mode yet. I really want to set this up so every single time someone enters this world, they're automatically put in creative. And that's very easy to do. What we need to use is the modify command. So in this case, it's dd modify, uh, then the world name, which in this case is fantastic, game mode, and then the game mode you want to set. So in this case, I want creative. And you'll see now, my game mode's automatically been changed. Uh, this world's been set to creative. I can now fly around to my heart's content. And that uh, will apply for everyone who joins this world. So no longer will you have to set people's game modes manually. But also the good thing about doing this is my other world, the world I came from, Dreary, is still set to survival. So when I teleport back to Dreary, you can see I've been automatically switched into survival mode. Now this is an another additional feature. Let's say I went to my creative world. Let's pretend I'm one of the players on your server. I found out that you've got creative mode. I'm going to take 64 blocks of diamonds, loads of TNT, and what else worth while? Yeah, some more diamonds. So, and you think, ho oh, oh, ho, I'm going to go back to the survival world with all this loot and get away with it. Not so. If you try and teleport back with anything in your inventory to a survival world from a creative world, your inventory is automatically cleared. That's configurable, you can turn it off, but it is on by default. Uh, I recommend keeping it on because it helps protect your server from accidental item uh, duplication. For example, if someone does go to a creative world, spawns a whole inventory full of TNT and manages to get it back. It can really ruin your economy and it only has to happen once. So it is very useful uh, to keep it on. So, just have a look at some of the other features. Uh, there we go. So now we're back in uh, Fantastic. I'm just going to have a look at some of the other options that we can set. So if I look at Fantastic again on the info, You can see we've got some other options. So for instance, I could set PVP to, in this world to uh, true, or by going DD modify fantastic PVP true. And now people can uh, beat, beat each other up to their heart's content. But additionally, there's a couple of other modes which are unique to Dimension Door. For example, we have a, a, a function called isolated chat. And what this does is it means that chat, if enabled, chat in that world does not leave that world. So uh, if I'm talking in fantastic, people in dreary cannot hear me and vice versa. However, if you have three worlds, for example, and you have um, dreary and let's say restricted, which we do have on the list, people in restricted and dreary can talk to each other, but they can't talk or hear people in fantastic. And Setting isolated chat carefully can help divide your server up neatly and actually make chat readable on larger uh, servers with higher player populations. So that's isolated chat. Uh, the next step, 
uh, we're going to have a look at is uh, access control. Now this is a new feature in uh, Dimension Door 2.1.1, uh, one of the most requested features. And that is now, if you teleport to a world where you don't have permission, it will uh, not let you teleport. So for example, if I try and teleport to Restricted, it will refuse to teleport me. And that's not just through the teleport command. If I walk through a star gate, a creative gate, or any other method to get there, including other uh, players teleporting me into that world, it would still refuse to move me. So it's a fairly watertight uh, way to prevent players from getting into a world where you don't want them to be. So this episode we've covered how to create uh, different worlds and set game modes, um, how to set uh, PvP, and if we actually have a look um, in Fantastic, we can set other stuff as well, such as difficulty, spawn animals, um, and uh, PvP. We can also alter this value called keep spawn in memory. Now, this is useful for larger servers because if you have, like, say, 20 worlds, and uh, all of them are being used at the same time, what that enables a bucket to do is take that world out of memory to save resources and it will load it back in when someone actually uses it. It's very handy if you've got lots of different worlds. Uh, so we've covered all the different modes which you can use. All of them you change using that DD modify command. We've demonstrated uh, how we can protect our worlds and I've also shown you how to prevent players taking stuff back from creative. In our next video, what we're going to be looking at is how to create uh, custom uh, worlds using plug-in world generators. So I hope you found this useful and uh, thanks for watching.